Hi friends. Yesterday, we started thinking about the story of Zacchaeus in the Gospel of Luke chapter 19. Zacchaeus had all the money he wanted, but he lacked community and friendship. He had heard about this Jesus who had a reputation for healing and restoring people, and he wondered if maybe Jesus could help him find what he lacked. So Zacchaeus rushes ahead to climb a tree and to get a look at someone who is opposite of him. Someone who, rather than turning his back on people and profiting off of them, has devoted himself to teaching and healing them. Someone who, rather than pursuing wealth and a nice home and lots of possessions, has chosen a life of poverty. But someone who, instead of being lonely and reviled, has a large crowd of friends following him. So Zacchaeus climbs into the tree, and as he clings tightly to the branches, straining to catch a glimpse of Jesus, he notices that Jesus is already looking at him. As their eyes meet, Jesus says to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your home today. Zacchaeus was probably thinking, wait, what? How do you know who I am? And if you know who I am, why do you want to be seen with me? <laughs> and Jesus, in essence, is saying, Oh, yes, I know you. I've had my eye on you, and I'm here to help. Zacchaeus realizes that the one he is seeking is actually and already seeking him. This idea that God is the one who seeks and pursues us was such a powerful insight to John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, that he developed an important way of talking about it called prevenient grace. Prevenient grace is the unconditional, unmerited, unlimited love of God in Jesus that comes before our awareness, our understanding, or our recognition of it. It's a love that has been at work in our life since the day we were born. It's never stagnant. It's always on the move, always beckoning us, wooing us, searching for us, and drawing near to us. In other words, prevenient grace is the unconditional, unmerited, unlimited love of God in Jesus that is constantly passing through our lives, much like Jesus was passing through Jericho. Do you ever feel like you're straining to get God's attention? Do you ever feel like you're trying to climb your way to God's favor? Do you ever feel like you're clinging with your fingertips to God's promises? Yeah, we all feel that way sometimes. But even as we are pulling and climbing and struggling and inching our way toward God, God is right there the whole time. As we are desperately searching to find God, God already has his eye on us. And God is here to help. Come on down, he says. Come down from the edge of your fear. Come down from the edge of your loneliness or pain. Come down from the edge of your selfishness, perfection, or pretense. Come down. I have come to you. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus but the power of the story is that he was seen by Jesus. Zacchaeus wanted to know Jesus and found that he was known by Jesus. And what Jesus knew about Zacchaeus was that Zacchaeus was ready to change. And we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Thanks for listening today. I'll see you soon.